Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to check which service is running on which port in Windows 10. So I'm going to show you something. I was, to, I was trying to run this program called ZAM. ZAM is a local server where you can run application on your machine. So we have the Apache server and then we have also my SQL which is also like a kind of uh, database where you can create your database. And um, as you can see when I start Apache server we have this process ID here and it's running on port um, 80 and also port, um, the secure port which is 443. So but the, surprisingly when I start this one we see we have the process ID Actually, I should have recorded the process ID. But let's see if I try again. So it's actually the process ID is keep changing. But so presently, I get this error. The error, my SQL shut down as unexpectedly. This may be due to the blocked port, missing dependence, and you can see all this kind of uh, uh, red stuff here that's showing that something is not okay. So I'm trying to see now, um, I'm, I'm trying to see which service is running on which port. So I want to make sure that I know which port is this. So how do we find out which uh, port run on my SQL? So we can just um, uh, Google so which, which port port number uh, does my SQL use okay we can see and this one this is the port number dedicated for my SQL so I need to find out why or which service is using this port otherwise this port should be should be um, should, I mean this message should be accepted and be running on this port but now it seems that there's something else is, is using this port so I need to show you today how to do that so we just go to um open the command line and right click you can just click it or you can just run as a, a, an administrator and uh, when we are here uh, we're going to use the network tool called um, netstat and um, ne what is netstat netstat is um, is a tool is a tool uh, derived derived from the i mean the words network and also the what the statistic and uh, is a program that i mean controlled via command command issued in what in command line as i say i open it on command line and it, it delivers the basic statistic on all network activities and uh, and it informs us like or inform the user on which port and address the corresponding connection connections such as like TCP or UDP are running and which port are open for task, tasks. So if I type here, it's going to give you just overview for type like net start. So, sorry, it's not net start, but it's net start. .r. So we can see here, this is just overview. You can see we have proto, this is a TCP protocol, and it keep updating all the time. That's why it's just pushing me up and down. So we can see here we have the the TCP which run on the port 8080. If, uh, and then we have the foreign address and the state. Okay, we don't go so much on the de that details because here the point is that we are checking um, which port is running on on a, on a, a 3306. So here we can't get so much because it's overview. But if you want to get more details, details, let's say we want to, uh, to be able to see to display all the open ports and active connection. I mean, in numeric, let's say, or I mean, the process ID should be included. So what we do, we use another command called the, we add something which is net start, and then we have hyphen or dash, and then we put a and o or anu. And when we click, now we see we get more information that display more of um, we get more information that we need, and this is very important because here now we have protocol, we have local address, foreign address, and then we have this piece of information that we need, which is with the process ID. So once we have this process ID, we can now um, uh, find out which this port, which where, who is using this port. So but how do we do that? We have to go to the tax manager. So you just have to, uh, to uh, right click on this bar and then you go to tax manager. In this tax manager now we can see we have the names with status and then we have process id and exactly i mean etc etc so but if you don't guess if you don't see this pid then you have to right click and then you click it for example if i disable it then you don't see it here but i enable it by clicking by clicking it and then we see we have all this okay and then we want to see we want to check now um we want to compare this port id boss because here we can only see the pid but we cannot see anything so we have to check we take the pid from this side and then we compare here and we see which uh, the name of the program that is running this is running so but how do i find that how do i do i do i find this report so what i do i just control f and then i get this find which is much easier for me to see so i type and what i have to type i'm typing this but we can just copy it and then click it i mean place it here and then find and you see as i'm trying to find I see this 33060 is not the same because this is, is uh, it's only 3306 and this 33060. So we continue finding. Okay, here we see. Here we go. So we have it here. So we can cancel this. So we can see it's here 3306. And then now we find the process ID. So you can see here the process ID is 4460. And this is very important for us. And if you remember, I said this is a process ID. And then we have this process ID. Uh, process ID. And uh, here it's showing us it's uh, listing on this 4460. Okay. So we go back to. We go back to the tax manager and then we put it close very close so we know it's six six i mean four four six zero and then we look it here you search for that you can also search but you can just look and uh, we can see here if you have a good eyes i have spotted it's four four six zero it's here four four six zero so we can see the name of the program is my sql id so now that we have this we can when you go back to uh, to this mysql if we try to start again we have problems so what we do we need to come here here actually let me put it down here and then 
it's actually this is my SQL ID. It has like it's running on the uh, two, I mean, two processes. We have this and this one, but we are interested to this one. With this one, we right click and end the task. Okay, and now we have only this one now, or all of them have just disappeared. So what we do now, we try to start this again. Now you see, we have we have we are. We are able to start this port. So this Dima SQL ID was the one who was using this port, and now we are able to shut down that that service. And then now, by default, this MySQL is going to use the port because now the port is available. So next time you have this problem, you just follow what I just said. You use this, uh, the, I mean the the tool command which is next start uh, dash a and o, and then you get all the information. Then you can you can search for for the PID, I mean the process ID, and then you go back to um, to the tax manager. And once you have tax manager now you can just locate this PID and then exactly you get the, the service that is running on that port and you shut the, the service down and then you you restart the, the port again and then you you have the, the I mean the what the MySQL running so and this goes to almost every other module or what you say the service that is you know using because there are so many ports as you can see here um, as you can see there are so many ports even this Apache now is running on this if any, in case that you find out that uh, there's another service running on this port then you can come and locate it and shut it down and then start on that uh, service that you need so thank you guys I hope this was I mean, it was helpful. Remember to subscribe and like it. Bye-bye.